Welcome back to Well This Morning, ladies and gentlemen, for all those who just joined in. In the first segment, we had some amazing, amazing little stars. Yes, good morning. <laughs> we had some amazing, brilliant little stars who sang for us. And, and we really hope that they actually do pursue singing in the yeah. future, inshallah. And for this segment, this isn't as informative as it, it gets because personally, we didn't even know what this was about yeah. and we had to Google it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is about hormon hormonal imbalances, I'm sorry, and endo endocrinology. Yeah, endocrinology. Yes, that is the word. Yeah. And uh, so, basically, we have a doctor, a physician who's actually going to discuss all of these things and tell us and tell you as well what this means. Yeah. So, you know, uh, like you were saying just a while ago, when you go to the gym and you need to keep your um, uh, hormonal balance checked because... Uh, no, no, it wasn't that. So when you go to the gym and, you know, uh, for example, if you've been working out and dieting okay. for two long months and, you know, you go to your trainer oh, and, and you, you, you ask still him... don't lose weight. And you ask him that, you know, why am I not losing mm -hmm. weight? So, you know, the first thing they say is, you know, go get your thyroid tested as yeah. well. And uh, a lot of people, they do not even get their thyroid tested the entire lifetime, you know, while they have been on earth. Okay. So, so I think this is something which we need to pick up on too as well, ladies and gentlemen. But yes. other than that, mm -hmm. you know, just like we go to different hospitals where we read d different departments, oncology, PEs and whatnot. Yeah. So uh, I was just discussing it with our guests too as well that we never got to see such a board in any hospital where it said endocrinology. Yeah. But endocrinology to uh, whatever extent of our knowledge may probably be, I think, uh, will probably be around obesity, diabetes, hormonal imbalances, and this is what thyroid we can... Thyroid and its different thyroid, types, yes. of course. And you know, most of the time, I know a lot of people who actually can't figure out what's wrong with them, but they are obviously going through something, and it's usually because of the imbalance of hormones. And it's 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 also some somehow, re I don't know why I'm stuttering, man. <laughs> it's also somehow related to, you know, uh, cosmetics as well. Uh, I'll tell you how. Yeah. So uh, sometimes... But before the break, girls, we decided that we're going to talk less. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on my right-hand side... We have been joined by Dr. Dr. Faryal Mahmood, who is an uh, endocrinologist. She's working at Pakistan Atomic Energy. She works at a private clinic with the name of Islamabad Specialist Clinic, which is an FA2 as well. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. How are you? Uh, thank you very much, Shazad and Chiza, for such a nice introduction. Um, uh, I have been uh, in Pakistan for the last uh, two to three years. Wow. Okay. Uh, before I was in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So you're in Riyadh. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. So uh, let us get the conversation started. What is endocrinology? Uh, basically, you have given a nice introduction about Thank you. it. Oh. We try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it is a science which deals with uh, hormonal imbalances, mm. and it uh, uh, the first uh, disease that comes in it in, in the umbrella of endocrinology is yeah. diabetes, basically. Okay. Diabetes actually comes uh, because of the hormonal imbalance. This All is right. something that very uh, few of us know about. Okay. It. So the first bulk of disease that we are dealing with with diabetes. Mm. So uh, this is what we are dealing. And then we are also dealing with thyroid disorders. Hmm. We are uh, <coughs> dealing with a lot of problems in among women with uh, which are because of hormonal imbalances. Yeah, yeah. Uh, women who are suffering from uh, for because of the menstrual uh, disorders. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, sometimes they have fertility problems. They have problems with their hormones. Right. So um, for long and long years, nobody picks up that they have problems with their hormones. Hmm. Right. So uh, they should get their hormones uh, checked up. And usually, you know what happens? I'm sorry, I'm speaking yeah, again. Sure. But uh, so you know, um, in uh, uh, boys who are no, I can't say men. So in boys, usually when you, they're not uh, probably they're trying to grow beard, but they're not able to. And in some women, usually they have some extra facial hair growth. That is also yeah. because of a hormonal True. imbalance, right? True. So um, not a lot of people know it is because of that. And when just a while ago you mentioned that diabetes is also caused because of the imbalance, True. but the hormonal imbalance is one of the things that causes diabetes, or is it the only thing? Well, uh, uh, basically, the uh, the root causes hormonal imbalance okay, okay. Uh, of the diabetes. Hmm. It is obesity and hormonal imbalance. Right. So, diabetes. what are some of the mo uh, most common diseases or disorders, let's say, which are caused due to hormonal imbalance, and you came across in Pakistan? Uh, as I said before, number one, diabetes. Right. Number right. two, thyroid disorders okay. uh, uh. because of the deficiency of thyroid hmm. hormone or the excess of thyroid hormone. Okay. Then we are dealing with the uh, menstrual disorders among the hmm. women or the fertility problems. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we are dealing with the male health problems. Hmm. Okay. We are dealing with the uh, puberty disorders okay. among children. Right. We are dealing with the growth disorders, hmm. a lot of, lot of problems. Okay. A lot of uh, growth disorders are neglected in the ch child clinics. 
in the chil ch pediatric clinics right, right. Uh, because they are never picked up, they are just neglected. I get to see a lot of children, uh, they are just prescribed uh, uh, the multivitamins. Mm. Uh, they are just told that you have a nutritional deficiency, mm. you don't need to see uh, anyone else. Actually, they have growth hormone deficiency. So, so are we trying to imply over here that we are talking about testing of the testosterones and I forgot the female version of it too as well. What do we call it? Estrogen. Yeah, estrogen. So, so is it all about that? Because It's all about that. Because uh, what I've heard and what I've known is because I go to the gym myself as well. So people with the testosterone deficiency cannot actually grow their muscles too as well. So and they pick up on different techniques, for example, uh, anabolic steroids and whatnot. So hormonal imbalance is caused because of steroids. What kind of impact do you think it is going to have on anybody's health? Impact in terms of what? Can you explain in terms of people who actually work out and, you know, uh, inject anabolic steroids to themselves or probably testosterone injections. So, and yeah. they do it by themselves, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Let me explain that. Uh, this is something uh, you are talking about. Uh, the uh, the misuse of these hormones, yeah. the misuse of uh, th th each of these hormones has got its own side effects. For example, okay. if you're using, uh, usually people use growth hormone as yeah. in, in the in the gyms uh, for the for to, to develop the muscles to, to yeah. develop muscles. Right. right. And uh, th th there is uh, definitely uh, you you can have the side effects of these. Uh, you can have the fluid retention. You right, can have right. lot of you can develop diabetes because of the misuse of these hormones. Okay. So and basically, yeah. immediately they will get the results that they want, but long term effects long -term are not effects. very favorable. Likewise, testosterone. Right. We get to see, uh, for uh, for example, you can uh, you can have a lot of side effects. Right. 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 I'm sorry, I have to cut you down here because we have sure. to sh head out to a very short break. We will be right back. Stay tuned to BTV World. Good morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, and continuing with our conversation with Dr. Fayal Mahmood Saiba, who is an endocrinologist as well. So we want to get the best information out and we're only left with five minutes. So let me just come down to thyroid right now because we, we have talked about the, uh, you know, growth hormones and whatnot where people inject, which you said are very dangerous and people shouldn't be doing that. Not on the, But with not thyroid, the you know, it's very tricky because we do not get to see it on the outer side whether it's swollen or not so how do we get to know whether there's a problem with our thyroid sometimes it's swollen or yeah. okay. actually and this is some a misconcept sometimes it's swollen but you don't have any problem with the uh, high or low okay. so many times people come to me and they say it's big but what to do i'm really worried so you don't have to worry about it you have to get the levels done and if it's not high or low you are not you don't have to do anything about it sometimes people come to me and they say i want to get it removed but if you're cosmetically concerned is something else mm. if you're not cosmetically concerned uh, you don't you don't need to remove it okay. 
right? If you, it's, the levels are high or low, you need to get the medicine for this. Okay. Their surgery is not the option unless and until you, there is a malignancy, there is a cancer in it. Right. Okay. This is a very wrong practice in Pakistan, uh, unfortunately. People get uh, it removed Thyroid surgically. Removed, yeah. It surgery Even for is young kids, I know they get exactly. Treatment. This is a very wrong practice in mm. Pakistan, okay. and the medicine you you just need medicines for high or low. Okay, so let's talk about high and low, uh, hyperthyroid and hyperthyroid, Hyper. right? So yeah. uh, before you explain that, I have a very quick question about hyperthyroid or yeah. any of these. So if yeah. you happen to face a hyperthyroid once, like mm -hmm. my mom did for a very long time, yeah. and she sort of coped up with it. Is it going to happen again? Are there chances of that? Yeah, uh, well, uh, depends on the mode of treatment you give. Okay. Uh, if you give, uh, you, there is a two kind, kind. This is a little detailed kind of a question, <laughs> actually. Okay. If, if there are two kinds of treatment. Mm. Uh, there is one, iodine. Mm. In, if you give iodine, there is a, no chance. There is a very little uh, chance that you get the relapse. Recurrence. Of the recurrence. Okay. If you get the drugs, there is a high chance that you oh. get the relapse. Okay, perfect. So very quickly, um, the difference or let's say the symptoms of hi hyperthyroid and hypothyroid. In hyperthyroid, uh, because thyroxine is the uh, is the hormone which increases the metabolism. Okay. okay. Uh, increases the expenditure of the energy that you have in the blood. So you lose weight. You lose first. weight mm. and you have the tremors and all kind of these oh, things. Okay. In a hypothyroidism, if you have less thyroxine, mm, mm. you gain weight and obesity. obesity okay. And all. if you are female, your periods become irregular and mm. these kind of things. Okay, okay, but let's talk about obesity too as well because over here in Pakistan, we have this tradition of eating all types of food, yeah. enriched with oil and whatnot, overcooking. Yeah. Exactly. So generally, I think 50% of the population of the country is just fat anyway. Exactly. And they are malnourished too alongside being fat. On the other yeah. side. Yeah. So do you think that endocrinology plays an important role in that too as so well, where people are unaware of the fact that they're getting fat, not because that they're eating too much, but because there's something wrong with their body? Well, um, we can do a lot about it. Okay. Uh, we can counsel people. Uh, we can uh, give them drugs also if they are, uh, if they are at the extreme of obesity. Actually, there is uh, we uh, endocrinologists refer them for the surgery. Also, there is a surgery coming up uh, for the people who are at the extreme of obesity, okay. and they are uh, they are getting uh, uncontrolled blood sugars and uh, high blood pressure. Mm. At the well, what kind of surgery will it be? Surgery. Actually, we are not doing it. The surgeons, the expert who. Yeah, yeah. Who are, who are not general surgeons, yeah. the, the surgeons who are expert in this. The Specialized. Surgeries, this surgery is called bariatric surgery. Okay. Okay. And the post-op, we uh, can look after the patients. Okay. So uh, this surgery is uh, being done, actually, some of the surgeons uh, are doing it. And in this, they staple the stomach. Okay. Yeah. So that you just don't eat too much anyways. You no, you have to modify your lifestyle. Yeah. In any case, you have to modify the lifestyle. Okay. It's not that you just get the stomach stapled and you <laughs> can okay. just. Okay, and also, so with, when you start to age, yeah. so the horm the chances of your hormones being imbalanced uh, rises as well. Uh, yeah. Okay, so is osteoporosis related to this too? Yeah. Okay, how? Because you know, uh, when you're uh, because your bone health depends on your uh, hormones, especially right. on your uh, on your sexual hormones. Mm they maintain your bone health. Okay. So when they decline, uh, your bone health starts declining, okay. uh, especially among females. And now the research is coming up that there is a male menopause also. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely the osteoporosis comes up then. Okay, so n now, you know, being a Pakistani, I know that I've uh, faced a lot of people who actually have the most, three of these most common uh, diseases, let's say, diabetes, of course, uh, thyroid, hyper mm. or hypo, and then osteoporosis or mm. any, you know, bone yeah. uh, diseases as well. So for those people out there who are aging and who are probably even not aging and facing these uh, difficulties with their hormones, what do you suggest them? I mean, can, is there any way to prevent this or, you know, cure comes later? And look at the camera and talk to all those people who are out there. This is your camera over here. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, for the diabetes, people have to modify their lifestyle. Uh, if they don't, if they won't modify, if you won't modify your lifestyle, you know, you the drugs are cure, but they are not the ultimate cure. You have to modify your lifestyle. Yeah. Number one, for the thyroid, of course, uh, if uh, unfortunately you get it, uh, it's not something uh, in in uh, something which is not untreatable. It's a very very treatable disease. You can get rid of it, and if you go to the proper doctor, it's a very treatable disease. It's not something, uh, an unfortunate thing. Number three, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, we can very well prevent it with the calcium and vitamin D supplements. We can treat it at, at, at the time when you get it, and it's something which comes at a very late age. 
but it can be preventable with adequate supplementation of calcium and vitamin E and with of course you should be doing some physical activity also. Wow. This okay. is what I would like to recap. Everything. Thank you very much Dr. Saiba for being with us. It was lovely to have you and Similarly, we it was, hope it was that a we very did nice justice play. with whatever time we were left with but thank you very much thank once you. again. And for all those people